So, Aldis, yes. how do you enjoy doing this virtual interviews for a movie everybody loves? <laughs> uh, this has actually been a, a really fantastic experience. The love and support that we received has, has been really quite overwhelming in the greatest way possible and, and surprising. You know, I'm really happy that people have responded and really received uh, the film well, so I, I couldn't be more grateful. So you're a happy man today, right? A happy man, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I just talked to the others before and I have the feeling when I watched the movie, it was, you know, really heartbreaking also because you think, wow, we could have same conversations today, you know, it's so long ago, it was in the 60s and now we are still struggling. So mm -hmm. do you think at least in Hollywood, it's a little bit better now with the conversation with Black Lives Matter? Um, I'm, I'm very particular about this question. Uh, so we, uh, and not from, just because of my perspective on it and that we still do have these conversations today, which is what I love about this film so much because I definitely uh, have had these conversations and that's really what drew me to the film. But when it comes to Hollywood, I have noticed every now and then when it comes to the necessity for inclusion, I don't think they've gotten it right yet, right? Um, with the with inclusion uh there has to be a normalcy to it and with hollywood sometimes what i see is is a wave of trends right they think okay you know black lives and struggle that it's a trend so people basically commoditize black pain by commercializing the black experience but you know and i'm talking about people that are not within the black community oftentimes thinking that oh we need to get on this now let's do this story now what we're looking for is normalcy and consistency making sure that this maintains, that our opportunities maintain. So when you have films like this, you know, that are done really well, you have a fantastic group behind it, fantastic director, producer, and this sets the tone, it sets the example for great content. You can't disavow the value of this product. So you cannot disavow the value of having black people get their opportunity and their shot. And that's what needs to continue happening. So is it getting better? Not not completely yet. Um, it's on its way, but I can say that for assurance, I can answer yes and definitely it gets better once we actually have consistency. Absolutely. Once we just, you know, accept it as a normalcy and we're, we're not there yet, to be honest. You know what? I completely agree in your thought. I like that what you say because oh, it's you. also, no, really, it's completely true. And I think it's also worth fighting for, you know, that it, oh, because yes. you will think, wow, why can't that be normal? You don't understand. And <laughs> yeah. somebody in the conversation, I wrote that down in the movie said, you know, we will have more freedom when we have economic freedom, but that's not enough, I think. You know, economic freedom is not the answer to everything, right? Yeah, so actually, I think I, I said that. So so it's an element to, to it. Um, economic freedom is one part of it, uh, equity. Um, you know, trying to figure out what equality actually is, is, is a tough thing uh, because I know what it is for me, but for so many other people, what it is for us is different, right? But I know what it is for me. And that's what, I, what I'm aiming for constantly. Economic freedom, absolutely. We, we need the same economic wages, uh, uh, ex economic shots, you know. Um, when you think about uh, wages for, for women, you know, I think that the wage gap needs to come up equally when it comes to women. But when you talk about the wage gap, it says, you know, women, you know, 77 uh, cents to the dollar of every man. No, right. white women get 77 cents to the dollar of every man. Black women get 68 cents. Latin women get 58 cents. Black women, white women, Latin women, Asian women all need dollar to dollar to the net, to the man. You know what I'm saying? But all these other cultures still don't have that same equity. Absolutely. And the question is why? When it comes yeah. to color why so we need we do need the ec economic freedom but we also need the the access to advantages assets we need fair treatment when it comes to legal system justice and law you know how we are disproportionately treated uh when it comes to that uh that issue so there are so many things that that need to get corrected and balanced out when it comes to 
us having true equality. And, and we'll, I hope I see it in my lifetime. I'll say that, but it's going to take a lot of work. Um, I think we need. I think we need you as a politician, Aldis. That's what. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't, I don't know. Thank you so much, Aldis. See you at the Oscars virtually and have oh. a wonderful <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get there. But thank you. You know, from your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Stay you. strong. That's absolutely. Thank you.